biggest thing that most salespeople that I've ever worked with don't do okay. that would help them the most. Here we go. Okay. Is they don't record their calls and they don't listen to them back. Like, so if you're on a Zoom meeting and you got a recording of that, you should watch it. Um, you, if you were on a phone call with somebody and you recorded it, you should listen to it. And, and if you're, if it didn't go the way you want it, like, this is what we tell our clients is like, record your calls and then send us a copy. Right. Um, you know, you send us record, recorded calls. And one of my favorite things to do is to listen to other people's sales calls, because sometimes when you're in the middle of the call, you're just a little bit like you're too in your head about what's going to happen. And it, and it changes how you interact. So being able to listen to it after the fact or getting feedback from myself or somebody on our team, I got a team of partners that are all great at listening to these calls. And we're going to, every time we listen to somebody's sales calls, we always find a bunch of stuff that they could do differently. And this is what I like to tell people. If you haven't done it because you're uncomfortable, I was like, you know, well, if, first of all, if you're uncomfortable, just imagine, you know, how you might be making your customers uncomfortable. That's right. But, <laughs> but if there's a mistake that you're making, okay, how how long do you want to make that mistake before somebody points it out to you? Mm -hmm. You know, call after call, meeting after meeting, and there's something you're doing or could be doing differently that you're not even aware of at all. I mean, that that I think that's why a lot of salespeople underperform versus their potential. I think most people could double their double their income.